Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. This is the Believer's Voice of Victor broadcast. We're Kenneth and Gloria Copeland, and we are going to have a good time on this broadcast today because the Word of the Lord came to me last night, Gloria. Just, I mean, just as we lay, just turned the lights out when we went to bed and told me what to do good. in here today. It's going to be good. And... Faith works in a grateful heart. That's true. Because faith works by love. And thanksgiving and gratitude comes from love. These are, uh, these are on the love side of the ledger. Mm -hmm. Ungrateful people are stressed out and all that kind of stuff. Now, we, we know the, the scientific medical world has come to the conclusion that stress is at the bottom and cause of the effect of every chronic disease there is. Caroline Leaf, the um, really... I mean, this, this woman is foremost brain scientist in the world today, in, in, in a lot of people's opinion, especially in our opinion, because she's, she's born again, spirit-filled, yeah. word of faith woman. She's going to be on the broadcast. And, uh, oh, yeah, that's right, she is. Ooh, you don't, don't be missing that. Now, I mean it. Now, here's, here's, here's a statement she made. This is proven, this is not a theory anymore. It was until she and others like her, proved this, that stress, unforgiveness, and things that, that come out of that stress-filled world causes, literally now, causes brain damage. It'll damage your brain because your brain is wired for love. And, now get this. Remember the Bible says to renew your mind? Yeah. They have proven that through your thoughts, ooh, you ready for this? Mm -hmm. Through your thoughts, God said, remember what God said now in, in, uh, uh, in Isaiah, he said, my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. My ways yeah. are higher than your ways. Positive thinking is not enough. It's got no, no, to no, be no, no, his no. ways. It's his thoughts. Then he said, let the wicked man forsake his thoughts. Yes, it does. Then you come to Romans chapter 12. Let's read that in Romans chapter 12. I want to get over here to Philippians 4 in just a moment. But... Let, let's read this in, in Romans 12 because we're working on something huge. Ooh, it sounds here. good. It is absolutely huge. The very first verse of Romans 12, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Now listen to this second verse. Be not conformed to the world. Don't think like them, don't act like them, mm -hmm. and don't talk like them. That's right. But you be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Now, now th this, is, this is a proven fact that your thoughts will change your DNA. Hmm. Wow. People have always th thought, you know, that, well, I got my DNA from my mom and daddy, and I, I'm, you know, I guess I, I'm just stuck with that. But I'm not wrong. Now, wait a minute. When you were born again, the Scripture says, we were born again, not of corruptible seed, but incorruptible seed, by the Word of God, 
which lives and abides forever. The Word of God is, is, that's Jesus' DNA. And that's what God spoke the Word to Mary. She received it, and that, and that Word went into her womb, and the Word took upon itself flesh and dwelt among us. Now, we were born again. We have God's DNA in our spirit. God. Now, when we, born of God. when we, when we take the Word of God and renew our minds, then we, as we begin to speak God's words and renew our minds, we speak love words and we forgive all the time. We don't just forgive when somebody does us wrong. Jesus didn't just forgive when somebody did him wrong. He forgave all the time. He forgave everybody all the time. That's his job. Well, as he is, so are we in this world. We're supposed to be forgiving all the time, everybody. Not just when you something done wrong to you. You walk into a restaurant. Before you go in there, forgive everybody in there. God's not holding their trespasses against them. They need to hear the Word of God and receive that forgiveness. But the blood has settled things. There's no sin on this earth that will keep you from receiving Jesus as your Lord and Savior when you call for Him, except rejecting Him and not calling. That's the only sin that will send you to hell. Anything else, the Lord said, yeah, that's done. Come on. Praise God. And then He wipes your sin that's out and, and so forth. Now, now, you stay with me now. We're going somewhere with this. This is okay. good. I'm telling you. That, hey, you know what this, this is? Your spirit right now is going, mm, that's smacking good. <laughs> hey, I mean, this, this changes everything. Now, you renew your mind with the Word of God. You have God's DNA in you. And as you speak His words, it'll literally change your DNA to, to be conformed to His dear Son. Isn't well, that what the, the Scripture says? It says re, you're transformed by the renewing of your mind. Yeah, that's, that's what, we, what, that's that's what, what we just read. That's what you're talking read. about right to there. To be conformed to His dear Son. So, we have His DNA. Now, as we speak it, it, it will change the DNA of your physical body. Right. I remember, um, let's, go, let's go back over to the book of Philippians now. I, I remember some years ago, well, just as I was about to turn 70, I, um, the devil started pounding me over the head with that because of my family's natural DNA on my mother's side, and and that 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 Indian blood is very strong, and it people usually follow that that DNA track, and I did in this case. I I, I followed my mother's mm -hmm. family more more resembled then than it, than I did my dad's, and my my mother died at seventy seven. My grandfather died at seventy six. My, my great-grandfather died in his early 70s, and the, all of them I know anything about, that's when they all went. Well, the devil starts pushing me. You ain't got five or six years to live. <laughs> you know? He wishes. Well, I'm, not, I'm not taking that, no, but no. he started working on my mind over it, you know. And I noticed my, my physical body had, had begun to cause certain things start causing some trouble here and there and the, and the other. And I went to the Lord about it, and he said, your body's trying to follow that natural DNA. Mm -hmm. But he said, and this is, this is when he brought this to my attention. Now, I'm, I'm, um, I'm, I'll be 78 here in a few days. And now, that was seven or eight, uh, that was uh, about nine, ten years ago. And, and he said, your body's trying to follow your natural DNA. But he said, you've got my DNA yes, in your spirit. glory to God. And he said, if, if you will release that by faith and you start talking yeah. the word over these things, That's good. he said, now I hadn't heard Dr. Lee say that about changing your DNA, but God was telling me that. See? Mm -hmm. He was leading me that way. And he said, and, and this is what happened. 
I began to confess that. I began to say, no, praise God. The Word of God says that the days of man shall be 120 years on the earth. That's just as much scripture as by his stripes ye were healed. Mm -hmm. So I took that and stood on it, Genesis 6, 3. And, um, and, I'm, I'm, and, and I've, I've made a commitment to the Lord to live that long. So. Well, you'll need me. Oh, yeah, you ain't going. Now, you understand that? <laughs> That's right. Don't be even thinking about it. <laughs> don't think about it. So, and, wh and, and what happened, just what he said would happen, my body's trying to do this. It's trying to follow that, that yeah. heritage DNA track mm -hmm. and, and, and track towards death in the 70s. But when I began to confess the Word of God, His DNA, it arrested yes, that. Yes, that's a good way to say that. See, yeah. It arrested it mm -hmm. and stopped it. Praise God. And, oh, what a powerful healing tool. The devil tries to put something on your body. He said, no, uh-uh, this body's got to go for another 40, some 40 plus years. You, you ain't putting that on me. That, that's death stuff. I, I ain't going there. That's right. So, and it arrested it. I've been redeemed from the curse. I've been redeemed from, that, from the curse of death. I'm not going there. We have victory over death. Yeah, that's right. So, now, let's, let's take a look here at what this says in Philippians 4, 6. Or let's read from the, from the fourth verse down. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. Now, when the Bible says you, tells you twice to do it, hey, it's enough if he says it works. But if he says, and again, you remember when Jesus would say, verily, verily? Well, verily is strong enough. When, when you got verily, verily, you, <laughs> you better pay close attention to what he's saying. You can't rejoice in the negative. No, 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 you no. You got to no, no. be in believing and God. And when you rejoice by faith, mm -hmm. I ain't got nothing to rejoice about. Do it because you're told to. That's right. Just walk around the room and say, well, all right then, well, I rejoice. Joy Glory to Lord God, I strength. rejoice. What that means is re Joy. We joy have the joy of the Lord, yeah, which is our it. strength. Now, now look at the sixth verse. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Now notice the word careful. That means full of care. Mm -hmm. Now hold your place there. I'm coming right back to that. I want you to notice 1 Peter in the uh, 1 Peter 5 and look at the uh, fifth verse, likewise you younger submit yourselves to the elder, yea, all of you be subject one to another, be clothed with humility, for God resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. Thank humble you. yourself therefore under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time, casting all mm -hmm. your care over on him. Amen. So being care filled in everything by prayer, be care filled for nothing. Cast that care over him on him. I mean, you get rid of it in a hurry because the scripture says you try to carry that care, it's pride. And you don't want to be in that area because God has released resistance. We would call that worry. Pride. Well, that's what it is, is worry. That's care. Yeah. And worry is fear dependent. Yeah, that's right. So not faith dependent, it's no, fear dependent. It's, that's good so now say let's get back over again. Be careful for nothing. Now, let me see that in the Amplified, Gloria, please. All right. Okay, Philippians 4. Listen to verse 6 very carefully. Do not fret oh, yeah. mm -hmm. or have anxiety about anything, but in every circumstance and in everything, yeah by prayer and petition, definite requests, listen, with thanksgiving, 
continue to make your wants known to Amen. God. You don't, you don't pray the same prayer over and over and over. Oh, God, I asked you yesterday for healing and I didn't get it. I'm back again today. No, 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 no. You, one, when you pray it over again, you just said, I didn't, I didn't believe you when I prayed it the first time. No, no, you pray in faith, but then you, you give thanks all the time, mm -hmm. all the time. He is saying here, don't get, don't, don't be care, don't get anx anxious, get into anxiety about Not anything, fair. nothing, nothing, nothing. What happens here when you do that? You are coming down on stress. Well, and it, and it says you, you be in peace. We're not saying enough about yeah. the peace of God. Yeah. That's a powerful thing. That stops stress. And it stops your mind from fouling up your DNA. <laughs> well, it. now, if you're still fretting, you didn't believe you received. You can't do both. No, you can't do both. No, it's no, no way. So you correct yourself and you stop that. Yeah, but you just don't know how I feel. Your feelings don't have nothing to do with anything. Say this out loud. My mind is my mind. My mind is my mind. My body is my body. My body is my body. This body belongs to Jesus. This body belongs to Jesus. Nobody can make me think what I don't want to think. Nobody can make me think what I don't want to think. Nobody can make me feel how I don't want to feel. Nobody, say it with me, nobody can make me feel how I don't want to feel. That's strong. It is. Amen. Now, I will think the Word of God and I will speak the Word of God yeah. and my body will just have to get in line. Now, when you do that, what's, what's, what's happening here? Your, your words, you're taking God's thoughts and you're choosing them and thinking them. That's yeah. what renews your mind. You keep doing that until those thoughts begin to come out your mouth. You have renewed your if mind. If you're still saying... Obviously, you didn't believe you received when you pray. If you're still saying you have it or whatever the situation is, you didn't, you didn't take it when you pray. That's it, yeah. And if you didn't take it, you don't know, have it supernaturally. No, Jesus said, therefore, whatsoever thing you desire, mm -hmm. when you pray, believe you receive it. That, that, uh, that is a translation of whatsoever thing you desire, when you pray, take it. That's right. So that's an action that's word. Means that, that's not passive, it's action. You take it mm -hmm. and you will have it. That's right. You take it and you will have it. So, I got it. So what? I took it and I got it. Oh, I'm telling you. Do you remember, you remember the, what the Lord told us about the six eyes of faith? When he, when, you remember he, we were preaching there in Happy's church and and he woke me up about four o'clock in the yes. morning. And I just, my head just raised up like that. I didn't sit up. I, my head just raised up. And Jesus mm -hmm. was right there. When I raised up, my eyes were right on him. Praise God. And he had a, a big silver tray. It was so big. He, it took his whole arm span. He said, and it, he wasn't, it wasn't mad looking, but he, he wasn't smiling. And he frowned a little bit. He, he said, serious. He said, have a cookie. Hmm. I kind of was dumbfounded. I just kind of, you know. And he said, your response is, I believe I will. I take it. I have it. Yeah. I thank you and give you praise and thanksgiving for it. And I forgive. I said, yes, sir. The six <laughs> eyes of faith. Now, I was preaching that day on Mark 11, 22. Have faith mm -hmm. in God. Now, think about this. Have faith in God. I believe I will. I take it. I have it. I have faith in God. Thank you for it, yeah, sir. I, I, it. Give, I am very grateful to you for it, and I forgive. Now, why, why is it forgive on there? Hey, you had not prayed until you take it, and you haven't prayed until you have forgiven. Because in that same verse, 24 and 25, he said, when you stand praying, forgive, forgive if, if you have aught against any. Any. Amen. That's good. That's Faith good. works in a grateful heart. Yes, it does. Woo! Glory, Glory to God. Hallelujah. No more stress. 
No more sickness, no more disease. I forgive if I have all against any, and I have no care and anxiety. Glory to God. Amen. That's good. Thanksgiving Day. Gloria and I will be back. Faithful, everything you said you'd do, you are faithful. I found that you are true. There's never been a time your word has failed this child. My God is not a man that he should lie. Lord, you're faithful, long suffering and sure. My God is faithful, your mercy will endure. Every time I need, I know you'll care for me. Oh, you're faithful to me. Thankful for your blessings every day, my Lord, I'm thankful. Always found a way Been my dearest friend You are my golden king You're the way, the truth, the life The best of me Lord, I'm thankful For guidance and for peace My Lord, I'm thankful for in you I am complete Are my soul desire Consume me with your fire Lord, you're faithful My God, you're faithful Lord, you're faithful Let's have a word of prayer together today. Father, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. I pray for this entire radio and television audience throughout the world. I pray for our partners right now, all over the world, all one million of us, Hallelujah. all over the world, in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you thanksgiving and praise today. We praise and worship you in the name of Jesus. We give you thanksgiving for everything you did on the cross, Lord Jesus. We give you thanksgiving for your word. We give you thanksgiving for, oh my, the goodness and the grace of God, for the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, we thank you today that you're watching over this nation. 
We thank you today that you're watching over our troops and our our police officers and yes. and and all of all of our military all over the world. They are ministers of God for our good. Thank you, Lord. And we pray, sir, and we give you thanksgiving. Concern all of these trouble spots throughout the earth, and we thank you that you are well in charge. And in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We give you the faith yes, with which Lord. to work and put a stop we to the believe. works of the devil worldwide. Thank stop you. cutting people's heads off and stop yes. disturbing and destroying people's finances. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Amen. The blessing be in And thank you for every tither on earth because your word says you have rebuked the devourer for their sake. Mm -hmm. And we take advantage of it. We give you thanks for it. Praise God. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. In Praise Jesus' the Lord. name. Amen. Amen. Glory. We have a ah. wonderful gift for you. It's a Ken's CD on Christmas every day. Look at that handsome guy. I'm married to him. <laughs> Thank Glory you, to God. The music and songs are so anointed. You can fill your house with this music during Christmas. And guess what? It's free. We're giving these away to you. Amen. Because we want we you want to, to be blessed. It. We're sowing this yes. as a seed yes. into your You'll life. You'll enjoy it and listen. You'll Amen. enjoy it. Fill your house. Your, when your people come in to celebrate, the Spirit of God will be Amen. in there. So request your free uh, CD on kcm.org. We'll see you again tomorrow. And remember, Jesus, Jesus is, is Lord. Lord. Celebrate Christmas every day. Welcome the peace of God into your homes with these timeless songs that glorify our Lord and Savior. Peace on earth and mercy mild. God and sinners reconcile. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. Enjoy this gift of peaceful music. Turn your heart toward God and celebrate Jesus. Request your free music CD, Christmas Every Day, your gift from Kenneth and Gloria Copeland. Go to kcm.org slash TV special. One per household, please. Offer good for 30 days. Enjoy the songs of Christmas and bring the love of God into your home.